Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this particular video I am going to discuss one very interesting but simple image segmentation based project okay and basically the main intention for creating this particular video is I want to introduce how you can use our apps inbuilt apps present in MATLAB for thresholding okay so let me discuss with one real time scenario clc clear all close all warning off as you generally write okay now what i want to do i will be basically capturing one image using ipcam as you know that ipcam first you need to install in your mobile phone and then take the ip address whatever it is showing and then put that in your computer browser and using this you can capture images videos audios etc using your mobile and transfer that to your computer right so i am using my cam equal to ipcam make sure this particular package is installed in your local machine otherwise it is going to throw you one error that time you have to understand that this is not installed and you have to go to your add-ons and in add-ons you have to add that right so here what i'll be doing first before going ahead with ipcam let me start server okay i have started the server and here see this one is my actually 192.168.1.101 colon 800 for different users it might be different okay and if i go to browser so here actually see this uh, using mobile phone i am trying to show okay so it is showing see here some path rise i have just kept for this experiment purpose anyway so now what i will do i will basically go to here and from this one i'll be taking the ip address and paste here okay make sure to put inside one what correct quotation okay and here 8080 so each time i want to take frames so i am writing videos okay video right now for the experiment purpose i'll be taking one particular snapshot e equal to my cam dot snapshot using this we can take one snapshot and we can use i am show e okay so this is going to be our test image later we will keep the code whatever we are going to write in a particular while loop or maybe for loop if you want and then we can uh, iterate that particular code again and again okay right so first what i'll be doing i'll be taking one snapshot so here you can see now what i will do i will just keep this little bit closer okay right and then i will be running this particular code evaluate selection so as soon as i run evaluate selection my image is captured okay right now what we'll be doing we'll be applying image segmentation based on intensity that is thresholding based image segmentation and we will try to count how many path rise are present 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 present let us check whether we are getting the same or not using our thresholder so we'll be going to app and then here we'll be writing image segmenter okay this is the app just open this app and here new session is opened load image from workspace okay before loading this is color image right so before thresholding i need to convert this to grayscale so rgb to to gray of e okay and this one we are going to import in our this workspace right so load image load image from workspace and here ms this image grayscale image i am taking okay click on okay right would you like to increase the image contrast if so image segmenter will adjust the image data 
to span the full data range if you want you can go ahead if you don't want you can ignore okay so this is our actually grayscale image now see here threshold option is coming click on threshold and there are basically three types of thresholding present one is global thresholding which might not work properly if background has some chrono contrast other options are manual threshold other option is adaptive threshold so let us first go with adaptive threshold but still here some thing is coming so i will be trying to go with manual threshold and here i will be just trying to segment this only puff rise properly and yes it seems that it is working pretty well okay so now create mask so see it is only segmenting the path trace apart from this one this is coming as noise which we have to remove and go to export export image generate function so we need we want to use this again and again so i am using generate function function is generated okay just save this in the same directory where you are working segment image just save that and see segment image dot m file is coming i'll be just simply copying this particular piece of code and i'll be pasting in my original uh working area where i was working with the code segment image e e ms okay right here we can write figure i am show bw to check how the thresholding is happening but let me just remove the clear all otherwise the image e whatever we have captured will go away or what i can do i can just simply make this comment all right mm clear all let me just remove and my cam this three let me make as comment i'll be going to home sorry editor and in editor i will be clicking on comment okay so all these three lines become comment so it will not change okay right now control a evaluate selection so see this is our actually thresholded image okay right now what we have to do if some noise is present those noise we have to remove okay noise means this particular part which is appearing due to uh, thresholding although it is doing its job pretty well but this one we have to remove right so what we can do we can apply bw area open to remove these small small parts okay so here we can write maybe filter equal to bw area open okay so what it will do i will pass my first image okay that is uh, binary image and then i have to pass if some particular uh, uh, binary object is having lesser than 200 pixel then remove that simple right and i'll be showing that i am show filter okay instead of 200 you can give you have to adjust according to your own scenario I am giving 200 to check whether it is working or not. Yes, see here the particular sp small spot which was appearing here. Now it's basically removed. Okay, right. Now what we can do here uh, along with BW area open. See here one more thing we have to do. See here some uh, holes type things are coming. Let us fill those holes otherwise it might uh, appear as problem later. I am fill holes. Yep, almost all the holes are removed, it seems, but just I have to check this particular part. Let me just zoom this. So here some disconnectivity is present till now and here also in the boundary pixel one small object is appearing right so what we can do here instead of 200 we can specify maybe 300 and here we can um, use im dialect or um, help i am dilate let me just check i am dilate dilates the grayscale image or binary image right so let me just use i am dilate also i am dilate and here dilation we want with small structuring element that will be sufficient i guess okay so i can write once uh, maybe 5 comma 5 okay now let's check Yeah, 
see the things are filled properly and the boundary objects are also not present right now we can apply our labeling a b equal to b w label of filter comma eight connectivity we want and this is the time of truth so we should get b as 10 yep perfect segmentation now what we want so see already we got we received the information that here actually 10 puff rise are present so obviously no doubt that our segmentation is working very properly now what we want we want to just uh, uh, create one boundary for each object which will be having rectangular shape and for this the code which i am going to write is quite simple you can explore from documentation also just what I want to do that I am going to use region props property and I am going to take only the boundaries okay so that is boundary bounding box property I am going to take okay right so here measurements equal to region props region property I am passing my labeled image a and here I want only bounding box okay once we get the bounding box we can use one for loop for maybe k equal to one colon length of total number of objects which is equal to b obviously as we know but still here i am writing length of measurements okay and here in this and here what we'll be doing will be first extracting the uh, four for, for for four coordinates will be extracting but it will be giving us top left uh, top left um, x and y coordinate and the height and width right as you know so measurements of k this one we are taking for one particular uh, binary object and then here we are extracting the bounding box property okay so using dot method we do this right and then here we are going to insert one rectangular object okay so rectangle position we are going to give as um, okay so what will be the position the position will be for this element the first will be top left corner then for this element this will be uh, y value okay this is x value this is y value then height and width we need to specify so here we are specifying right and then here if you want i am specifying some edge colors also with some line with red color we want and mm, yep it seems correct no this is making hmm. there is why red mark is coming invalid syntax edge color dot a on or let me write here on the okay I forgot to give comma actually hmm. okay so this is this will be creating basically boundary box of rectangular shape so let me show you here figure I am show original image keeping one hold on and here hold off right control a if error selection hope will not be getting any error yes see perfectly boundary box came but if we have to give title also so title what we are going to give how many elements present so B let's check now see for there are basically 10 puff rise present so it is showing 10 okay perfect segmentation 
right so now we need to run this code again and again so i'll be removing this figure parts etc all these things because these are just intermediate steps we have used for testing purpose nothing else okay here also figure i'll be removing right and here this particular from here first let me remove the comments and now from here while true in this draw now for animation purpose okay all right so let's hope that this will work so now let me close all this and code will be posted in the description box no need to worry about the code so here actually our webcam starts let me just turn on the light so that segmentation will be happening properly okay so let's run this whole code first let us check yes browser is working control a evaluate selection so see it is showing that actually 10 puff rice present now i am taking one more puff rice and let us check whether the count is going to 11 or not so now 10 puff rice present i am taking one more so see now the count goes to 11 okay and then i am taking one more see count is now going to 12 okay i am taking two more see count is now 14 okay now i am taking three more see okay so due to sometime uh, segmentation problem or improper lighting it might happen that some values might appear as different but majorly this is the count and it is showing perfectly okay so this is how you can use your segmentation app for this kind of experiment purpose okay so if you keep on adding see now the number should go to 18 So see 18. I am removing three of them. 15. Okay. So the code is perfectly working. I'll be providing the code in the description box or in the comment section. If you want, you can go through that. Thank you.